Hey everyone, I'm back with a, the new update has come out today and so I wanted to check it out with you guys and show you first looks and kind of see what we can do so far. So, um, you know, one of the ch biggest changes I see off the bat is not a really big change, but they basically made give things more, they get, they made things give more experience. So now I'm, I used to be at level 93, but now I'm at 114. Kind of like it when I was at a lower level. I don't know. I don't like it when the levels get too high. So I don't know. That's not really a big thing though. Um, industrial age, you know, the usual thing. Um, not many things have actually changed uh, unless you've seen in the patch notes, but now they actually give you the option to upgrade and it says, you know, requires industrial age. Um, everything does that now. So you can actually see, you know, like this one needs 5 million food now. So, you know, you can see how much in advance you're going to need, even though the industrial age is not actually out. So if we can actually see the industrial age troops, that's pretty cool. Al Alpini, uh, the rifleman. Apparently we're gonna get a tank, which is awesome. Look at that, guys. That's gonna be great. So basically, it's taking over like the uh, lancers. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else. We got a motorcycle raider. Oh, that's cool. It gets a little gun and stuff. Um, an engineer, I guess, to break down the wall. Still, we get artillery, which is makes sense. And then we're gonna get a supply truck. Ooh. First, I gotta get to the Enlightenment Age stuff. I don't even, you know, I didn't even get that yet. And so, there's some new things actually too. So you see that, that all peeny and stuff like that. Um, they made the they made the way it looks a little bit smaller, so you can fit more on one page. So we got we got the there's the Gatling gun, and so basically it has a lot of hit points. Um, you know, it's basically like a meat shield, I guess. Let's see, strong against large infantry units. Um, hmm, I don't, it doesn't even do that much damage, it's weak, weak, weak against defense and cavalry, uh, I don't know, I don't know if that's going to be that useful. Let's see, sneaky bypasses gates, 20x damage versus buildings and walls, whew, let's see, easy overwhelmed if caught by defenders, but it has a lot of health, so I think this might be pretty good to gorilla, um, the heavy tank, holy moly, dude, that's, 27,000 health, 1,000 damage per second. Wow. Let's see, high troop space and slow fire rate. Uh, it takes 25 troop space. Holy. I think it's... I want to use that thing. <laughs> but, you know, it's got a level 3 factory, so we won't we probably get to use it until the industrial age. There's a biplane. And so... Uh, I guess we're gonna have air units soon, but that's after the industrial age comes out. And so, let's see. Basically, I guess it's only vulnerable to air defenses. Same thing with the Zeppelin. Oh, this is pretty cool. I'm really excited about these new stuff. Um, some of the, one of the other new things, let's see. Um, you know, the changes, they actually did change the weapon blessing. It's actually 33% now from 22%. Or 20% depending if you didn't research the library tech yet. There's also air defense blessing now. Oil blessing and defender blessing from the library tech. Let's see. Let's look at the library. And so there is a level 6 now. But I actually can't get that until I upgrade my library. But that's in the industrial age also. And so we basically it's just going to help out with the oil well for that one. You know, this is going to help out the vault. And this is helping out the bunker. Ah, yeah, the bunker, the one. So then they can get new troops and have a weaponry. That's pretty cool. I know there's a lot of new stuff, you know. So you can upgrade these. It just shows you, you know, you can. But you, you I mean, it has the option to. But until the industrial age. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, let's see what else. Nothing most. Uh, everything else is pretty much the same. Um, in the economy, we have the oil refinery. I earned enough gold just so I can uh, build this. It's, it's going to take two days, though, so it's going to be a while. So the oil refinery actually stores go uh, stores oil, and the oil well provides oil. And so we need to get the oil refinery first. Mm, and then, let's see. We can actually see the air defense. That, uh, that's actually the one that we saw um in the pictures if you see on the, their facebook sometimes and that's actually the so that's an air defense so it's anti-air thing which is pretty cool and uh we got a bunker which produces heavy tanks 
Can't do that into the industrial age either. So that sucks. Let's see. We got factory, but we need to unlock that after we get the oil refinery. Uh, the airstrip, we can't get into the industrial age also. And there's new wonders too for the industrial age. So we got the Statue of Liberty. Uh, the Statue of Liberty was b uh, built as a gift from wait, to the United States from France, dedicated October 28, 1866. The Brandenburg Gate um, was built in Berlin between... Anyways, you guys can read that. But basically, that's for Germany. The Eiffel Tower is obviously France. And Kremlin is built located near Moscow, near Moscow River. Moscow River. So that's in Russia. Hmm, it's pretty cool. So, I don't know. This is really cool stuff, guys. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to build this oil refinery now so someone doesn't attack me and take all my uh, gold. And so, um, uh, I don't know. I'm thinking, really thinking about if I should just use the crowns and do it. But then I'm going to have to, like, build the other two also. I need to build the oil well. You know, so I have to, and I need to build the factory too. So I don't know if I should just wait it out or not. Hmm. I'm really thinking about it still. Because I want I want to do it just so I can show you guys. And I mean, I haven't bought any crowns yet. I don't know if I'm ever going to. But I did, you know, earn all these crowns. Let's see. 433. Okay, guys. I'm just going to do it for you guys. I'm just going to do this. So uh, I'm going to use about half my crowns. Uh, okay. Awesome. Oil refinery. Your oil refinery stores oil and upgraded to increase storage capacity. You can purchase shipments of oil here. Okay, so what do I need to... Oh, you only need one diamond. No, oh, that's actually pretty good. Um, I can't upgrade it until the industrial age. It can hold 50,000 currently. And so now I can build a factory with 1,500 uh, 1500 food, which is nice. And then 1 million, uh, 100... Uh, not 1,500, sorry, 1,500,000 gold, 500,000 gold, uh, food, I can't even talk. And so we can actually build two oil wells, and those are two slots each, okay. I'm gonna have to earn this off screen, but I'm definitely gonna show you guys that, but I just want to show you guys how much it's gonna cost, you know, in advance, and just for you guys, it's, I'm glad I did that. I mean, even though I wasted half my crowns, it's all good, just for you guys. Okay, so, we got the third... Uh, resource now oil comes from oil wells and you can use it to take from other nations I don't know. This is a lot of new things in this uh, update. You know, you can see kind of it looks a little bit different You know um, one thing I want to show you guys in battle actually So I actually did test it the uh, your infantry troops if you're in the enlightenment age You can still shoot over the wall. So look, I'll show you real quick Oh damn it, it attack something else. Uh, why are you not attacking this? Like, see, it, it can still shoot over the wall if they will actually attack the defensive buildings. Huh. Okay, let me see. I don't know why they're going for the defensive, like, the resource buildings when they can just attack. Ah, uh, I have no idea why they're doing that. Um. Here, let me test it out. I'm just gonna... Oh, get, I guess it can't shoot over walls. I, I'm sure it could have sh shot over walls. I'm like, I was so sure. Anyways, new things that you can see right here is actually the destruction. Uh, the stars are at the bottom left right here now. Um, if you're German, uh, if you're the, if you're Germany, then you actually get a new uh, rally icon. I was sure they can shoot over walls because I, I did it before. Like, I'm sure of it. I guess not now. Ah, uh, I was so sure they can. I guess I can't now. I did it earlier, like, just earlier when I was looking up everything, but I guess not. I did... I don't... I didn't get any oil. Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys that. It's basically, uh, you know, the new stars at the bottom over here. Mm, everything looks basically the same, you see, but now you see, like, the third... Oh, sorry. The third icon, uh, the third resource. And... I don't know, it's basically... I lost a lot of troops, but it's okay. It's not a big deal. But I do... I'm gonna try to earn... Um, enough food and gold so I can build up the oil well. And then that'll probably be done in, let's see, that's four days. That's three days, actually. Whew, that's going to be a while. Anyways, I'm glad I did this, though. Um, let's see, I have one diamond. Might as well use it. Let's see, you can't purchase 
anywhere between 25 to 75. Um, I mean, there's no point of holding it because I'm just going to get attacked and lose it. Don't want to do that. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this first look at the new update. And I'm really enjoying these new updates. I can't wait for the Industrial Age also. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys next time.